I still haven't figured out where to go get my hair done. It's an absolute Hi, so that was me just watching my video premiere. So when I premiere videos, I usually sit down and watch with everyone else. I don't know, they become more interesting when you see that 50 people are watching with you. Like, I don't know, it's just, I like it. I don't know what other uh, creators do when they premiere their videos, but personally, I sit down and watch with everyone else. So today I was premiering one of my vlogs. Uh, you would have watched it by the time you watch this vlog. So. I have good news to share with you. Oh, I hope you're well. I didn't even say, hi, how are you? I hope you're well. Welcome to Tesla Gamba Up Plus. I want to share good news with you. Good news for me. I received this news and they made me so happy. And I'm going to share them with you today. And we're going to be doing uh, one or two things. But first, let's organize this place. As you can see, it's not like dirty or she's organized. I just have to remove <laughs> pillows where they're not supposed to be and take out the trash. And then the place will be looking better. After we organize, I will share with you the news and show you something else i'm so excited for this video if you like it click the thumbs up down here and i'll be so grateful i will really appreciate it thank you so much for keeping up with my content and engaging with it it means a lot and i do not take it for granted not even for a bit so thank you now let's organize before i talk forever you know, I quickly retwisted these um, locks. Like, I can retwist my own locks, but retwisting doesn't last. I retwisted them, like, last week for attending the YouTube party. Uh, that's how they're looking right now. I mean, they don't look that bad. They're not awful. I will retwist them again. So, this week, I'm supposed to wash my hair. So, I will wash and retwist again. I have even the crochet needles. I have all that. Just that I don't know. I find interlocking my own locks takes so much time, and I usually want to make sure I'm doing it well. Because if you do it the wrong way, you might leave holes in your locks. So that's why I liked when my loctician did it. But yeah, they're looking. They are clean, better than they were in the last vlog. So that's a plus. I'm happy with it. Needed some time to grow Just gonna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Ready to talk, baby Can be your rock, baby Please come and sit with me Or take a walk with me I need to speak to you Just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride Is there a chance that we Could make another try? I think we meant to be Didn't wanna say goodbye If there's a chance, just tell me how Time is precious, time is now Don't wanna take it slow By the way, I got this mattress cover from Amazon. It's really nice and it has a zipper. And then I put my suitcases under the bed. They're right there. I hate putting stuff under the bed, but I didn't have a choice because I don't have much space to work with. Cause I didn't love myself. Wish I could turn back time, go back and do things right. Give you a wedding ring, give you my everything. And be there by your side. Share a life and have a child. up doing some sort of general cleaning but i like it the place now looks organized clean mopped this is what sundays are for cleaning i liked doing that and i'm so happy that my place is now looking like 
a house, you know, a place where people live. By the way, before I tell you the good news, I bought stuff from TikTok shop and I want us to unbox them. Not really to unbox, I just want to show you what I got. I am seeing them for the first time. I haven't opened the packages. Oh, we have this huge one. So there's this and there's the, the other one I have shown you. Item number one. This home house shoes. I think they're sandals. Are they called house sandals? This is a two-piece lounge set. Yeah. A lounge set, I will fit it. Um, what's this? This? This is a towel. Hmm, it looks smaller than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a big towel. Gloves. Um, hand towel. I don't know what this is. Let's unbox it. The second package. My winter jacket is here. It is so big. I can tell from how it looks in this bag. So big. Let us start with the small packages. So we have this. Someone told me to buy a knife for unboxing. I don't remember the name of that knife, but I have the picture. It's the small knife. Pen knife? I will buy it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Okay, so I got this for the bathroom for toothpaste toothbrush it's a toothpaste toothbrush and other stuff holder i think i got two yeah so there's this and this you're joking not another one yeah they are bigger than I expected by the way that's why i got two but i'm sure they both will come in handy so it's not i'm not regretting These lovely gloves because I have been freezing outside every time I go outside because I don't have gloves. So cute. This I love. They fit so well. They have holes. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. They have these two little holes over here. See, is this normal? Is this normal? I don't know. I mean, they feel so warm. They look, they look so cute. But they fit well. But the two holes are weird. Let me know in the comment section. That's normal. And then... The house shoes. Let's see if they fit. Yep. They fit perfectly. They are so cute, you guys. This I love. This I love. I mean, my nails are not cute because they've chipped and I, I need to do them. But the slippers, yes, I'm gonna show you how they look on my feet. They are cute and warm. <laughs> I love them. Then, this. I think these are shoes. Yeah. Now, I was very worried buying this boot. Remember in my last video, I told you guys I love boots. I love me a pair of boots. I was worried. I was worried buying them because I wasn't sure whether because I wear thirty nine, but I know shoes have different fittings, so I wasn't sure whether it's gonna fit me. So let's let's hope it fits. This is forty China, China whatever, forty. That should be thirty nine UK thirty nine. Is it UK US thirty nine? Then UK six. Or is it five point five? I don't know. I will fix them and then we will see whether they actually fit. These are for drying hands in the bathroom next to the sink. You see that? The hand towels people hang next to the sink to dry your hands when you wash your hands. 
Yes, uh, so cute. And then the towel. I really thought this was gonna be big. It's not as big as I thought. I really want a big towel. I guess I have to go to a store for that one. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not as big as I thought. Now let's, um, we have this two piece. We have my winter jacket and we have my shoes. Let's fit them. Try on the jacket. <laughs> And a big hoodie. Ooh. You know, one thing I struggle with when it comes to jackets is I usually find that I have too much hair and most hoodies don't fit, but this one fits. I love it. This was, I think, 38 pounds. I love it and it fits perfectly. Can you guys see? I don't know whether the light is affecting how you guys can see but i hope it's the video is clear okay lounge sets um so i wanted something buggy i like to be in buggy stuff when i'm in the house so we have this hoodie i wanted something buggy let me fit it <gasps> this is it this is it. Oh my god. I really love it. I really, really love it. It fits so well. It has, I can do this. Let me show you guys well. Look at me. Okay. There's not enough light here, but yeah. What do you guys have to say about this? Just tell me. Tell me in the comment section this is so cute i like baggy comfortable stuff when i'm in the house and this is so cute I can, you can dress like this and i don't know go somewhere it's not just for the house it's so cute i like it don't worry about the trash i'm supposed to take it out i will take it out i just wanted to make sure once i unbox stuff i just put all the trash together and take it out once i don't want to keep making trips to the bins outside Okay, let's try on let's try on the shoes and the sandals. This is how they look guys. They fit well. Thank God I took this this size. They fit well, they even leave a bit of space over here, which is good. I love them. Let me show you well. Look at them. Jeez. Phew, I love boots. I love boots so much. And these are so cute and they fit thank god one thing i hate is starting to return things to a vendor i love them do you want to see how they look in the mirror they actually go with this fit a bit <laughs> well they look weird because this is long but yeah so sad the lighting here is not good at but then we have the sandals the house slippers first of all don't worry about the nails i know they are chipped i will get them done when i get them done just focus on the sandals the slippers i don't know how they're called but they look so beautiful i love them so much let's see how they look in the mirror uh-huh uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm so happy really so happy with my purchases.
I love it. You see, it has so much capacity, like it can hold more stuff. So if maybe I need to put this in here, I can. Just like that. And I'll use it like this, but no, I cannot put the hand wash there, but I can put my mouth. I've forgotten the name, but yeah, my God, I love it. It's so cute. I don't know where to put this. There's no space. I can't put it here because it's just right above the sink and the sink is small. So when I wash my face, I usually have to press my face to the corner. And I was thinking of putting it here, like hang it on my storage. But I don't know. I mean, I know it would fit. It, look good. it looks good here, but uh, I'm a bit reluctant. Anyway, let me think about it for two more minutes. Two minutes later. The jury has reached a verdict. There it is. I'm, this thing is so cute, you guys. What do you think? It's so cute. And you don't have to use towels. You know, this is enough to just dry your hands. I mean, how cool is this? Let me back up a bit so you can see the setup. Oh, God. So beautiful. And then, ah, this. I love it. I don't know where this will go because I can't put two there because of space and I don't know. I'm sure I'll find a, a place for it or i just keep it and use it in my next apartment. You know, I just sat down and then it hit me that a few months ago, this was just a dream. Like, I can't believe I am seated on my own bed and I can, like, my own sheets, my own pillows. I just, I can't believe it. A few months ago, I was just praying to God that I hope I get my own place again. I hope I stand on my feet again. And now I realize how I took so many things for granted last year. I was in a good place. I was making enough money. I was in a good home. I, I had everything I needed. I was still pressuring myself to work and putting off living, saying I will do it next year. I will do this next year. I will go this place next year. I didn't even celebrate my birthday. That was the period I was applying for my visa. And I just said, you know, I can put off one birthday because next year I'll be with my partner and we'll celebrate my birthday together. I didn't celebrate Christmas. I was like, let me just focus on moving to the UK next year. I will be together with my partner. We will celebrate christmas and that didn't happen this year came and i still didn't celebrate my birthday and i'm not gonna celebrate christmas it's christmas period right now but i'm not gonna celebrate it and i'm alone but now looking back i just realized how much i took for granted i forfeited living in the moment for a future that was so uncertain for a future that turned out to be gruesome and now i'm like i wish i knew what i had back then and i wish i took advantage of that i wish i lived i wish i went out with my sister more i wish i spent more time with my niece i just wish i wasn't so obsessed with work and getting things done and now I feel like I've learned my lesson that as much as we plan for the future, the best thing I can do for myself is to live in the moment. This might not be the best apartment. I mean, it's not the best. I have a dream. I want to get into a bigger house. I'm right now I'm in the process of looking for another place. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave. I will not just stay here as i wait for something better i will make the best of what i have right now i'm gonna leave i will take pictures i will record nice videos i will eat good food i will go out i will try my best to live and take advantage of what i have now because that is the only thing that is guaranteed the present i always thought the future you know the way they say the future is bright this year has taught me that the future is in God's hand and it might not be bright. You getting a bright future is sort of a 50, there's a 50 50 chance of things going the opposite way. And I'm not saying that now futures are horrible. No, I am planning for a future. I wish for a better future. I want next year to be better and best, and I'm hoping for that. But I won't hold off living my life right now, saying I will do this next year. I will 
next year. No, I'm gonna live in the moment. I'm gonna look back. You know, the way I look back to last year in Kenya, and I'm regretting not taking advantage of everything I had and the way I took everything for granted. When I look back to this studio apartment, I want to say I really enjoyed my life there. Even though I lived there for maybe a couple of months, for maybe half a year, I really enjoyed life there and I look back and I remember the things I bought, how I enjoyed, I remember the places I went. That is what I want. I don't want to regret. I don't want to say, oh, you know, I was sleeping on the floor because I knew I'd move out in a few months. No, I want to leave. I want to leave you and I don't know if this makes sense to anyone. But it's important to live in the present. Take advantage of it because that might be the best you're hoping for. Mic drop. Anyway, so the good news, I got my driving license. <laughs> you guys remember when I told you that I understand why everyone here has a car and I wish I could buy a car. But my biggest hindrance is I don't know how to drive. And but this is another thing I regret. I wish I took driving lessons in Kenya. But it never crossed my mind. In fact, in Kenya, buying a car was never a goal of mine because I didn't see why I needed to buy a car and I was in a position to, by the way. But right now, in this country, I feel like I have reasons to get it. But even if I had never the money, I wouldn't buy it because I don't know how to drive. And for this country, for you to get driving lessons, you first need to get a provisional driving license. And I told you, there's a vlog, I think two, three vlogs back. I told you guys I will start the process. So I applied for my provisional driving license. I remember when I sent my BHP, it was at the end of November, I sent my BHP and my passport photo. I thought, oh, this is going to take long because they say it takes about two weeks but mine took like a week give or take and i got my driving license and my bhp they were both delivered at the same time different packages but at the same time and now i have a driving license although it's provisional it's still a driving license please let me know if it's as good as a driving license probably not because i can't drive on motorways but it's still a legit document so I'm so happy. I can't show it to you guys because it has all my details. I even noticed this envelope has all my details. So I'm trying my best to hide them. You guys know I have to keep my location secret. I got this flyer in the package. I think it's to help with theory test. So I'm supposed to go to a start, download an app and then I'll get materials to learn and pass the theory test. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I know there's driving lessons and, and I know there's a test. I don't know the dynamics of it all. I don't know the structure of the test. I don't know what comes after the other, but I will find out. I will find out and I will take the necessary steps and hopefully soon I will have now a full driving license and I'll start um, saving for a car. You guys wish me the best. Wish me best of luck. And I don't know whether I've said this before, but I am doing everything I can to make sure I am getting back on my feet. Everything that is in my control, I am doing it. So if I have to apply for something, if I have to do something, if I have to pay for something, I am working towards that. My life is my responsibility. My friend says life is very personal. It doesn't matter who's your brother, whether you have sisters or life is personal. If you want to change your life, you're the only one who can do that. People can hold you up, people can advise you, but the one who has the power to change your life is you. And I take that very personally. That is a statement I will never forget. And I like to take control of my life. So I do everything I can to make sure I am back on my feet, to make sure I am living the life I want. So I am taking the necessary steps. Anyway, I want to end this video right here and before i do that i want to say thank you so much for your positivity i your comments are so so positive they are beautiful some of them are beautiful to read thank you so much for your support for just encouraging me you know for enjoying my content you know i was so scared about vlogging because you see me i'm more of an educational person i it's easier for me to make educational content because all i have to do is sit down i usually tell people like i have nothing interesting going on in my life what will i be doing vlogging but i am happy that you take the content i give you and you enjoy that and you take me as me you know that is the only thing i can offer me as me let me tell you what you see is what you get like me i'm just me i will never try to be anything else 
this is the real life this is how i live like i'm so happy that my audience takes me as i am and you just take the content i give and you run with it you're happy with it and for those people who give me ideas who correct me who just you know leave comments that help me do better i appreciate you my lips are not dry by the way they just look dry sometimes thank you so much for that i will see you in my next video Toodles. <laughs>